Have you wondered about downsizing versus right sizing and what that's all about? Well, stick around because that's what we're covering today. Hi, I'm Charlotte from the Volch Team. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm a realtor covering the Inland Empire and the high desert. And every week I post tips, insights, and updates, which I refer to as cues to help you gain clarity. So before we get started, I want you to know that this is the second video in the Moving Mindset series. I will leave the link for the first video in the description box below. Today we're talking about downsizing versus right sizing. Downsizing refers to the process of people moving from a large home to a smaller home to simplify their life. This means less square footage or a fewer number of rooms. People also reference getting rid of possessions or giving something up as downsizing. I prefer the term right sizing to discard the negative connotation that downsizing sometimes indicates. And before we cover right sizing, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell below to be notified of the next video in the Moving Mindset series. Now, right sizing on the positive end is a conscious choice. It's about making life work and bringing new meaning to life. Some people will make a lateral move to a same size home that brings more in terms of security, maybe lifestyle or more amenities. And a small number of people will elect to stay in their current home. In this case, there is no down at all. And a right sizing focus means preparing the home for different what if scenarios to continue their desired lifestyle. Right sizing is about creating a lifestyle you want as your needs and circumstances change. And right sizing is about changing out what no longer works or may not work in the near future for something more reliable, more secure. The strategic move either solves current problems or potential problems. You select a situation, you select the circumstance or the environment that will better support your changes as you age. And with your health status, your finances, your living partnership, or your mental status changing, how well will your current environment work for you? Thinking through these issues well in advance will enhance your life. Even if you plan to live out your days at your current home, you must make some careful preparation. Being caught off guard will result in hasty and sometimes poor decisions. Determining a plan can take a long time, sometimes up to several years. So take control before others are forced to intervene and direct the outcome of your life. When you do it your way, it makes for a happier ending. Now the next in the series, I'll be giving tips on how to decide where to land with the moving mindset. 